it's now sports, it's NIP. These are all recipes to a fantastic series. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world apart from right here in right Cologne, now. ready to embark on this journey with you two gentlemen by my side. All right. So the game has begun, this best of three series. The Ninjas and Mouse Sports already getting off to a furious pace. Some shots fired off there towards the ramp room. They're going to go in the way of Mouse Sports, actually. Frozen and Bemis have already taken on, too, and that's going to create quite the problem, quite the flaw, quite the hole in the defense of the Ninjas. Yeah, B is all theirs, and Carrigan is still in the door to cut off these rotations. NIP have too close towards the vents, and they're waiting for this. They're ready for it, but almost a team kill yeah. res. Oz <laughs> trade. Nork falls into the firing line, and, well, this one's done. It's Mouse Sports in a four-on-one. Plant is allowed, and with no kit here for res, it's all about rotating into the unknown, looking to take out any kills that he can. Get a bit more cash for that force buy potentially here on NIP side. He's not going to get any more than the one. And that's Mouse Sports taking the pistol. I think the map veto is really interesting here. I, I, I was leaning the way of Mouse Sports. And I think if this goes three maps, that, their work is truly going to be cut out for them, right? We know how good Carrigan can be. And this team has been over on train. But there's still a lot of question marks for that being a go-to map for NIP. But Nuke, great start for Mouse Sports. Finding the pistol on their T side as well. That's where they want to be. Ooh, oh, the little blue lens. I, I'm I feel that. That's cool. What if it's like the tape is still over the webcam out of the packaging? It's just a blue film. And I could actually see that being the case. I'm real so, curious yeah. now. Real curious. No one likes peeling it off. You know, you want to keep it there forever. Well, nah. Maybe not on the camera. Nah, it's got to come off, man. He like, is like, all my appliances still have the film <laughs> on. Yeah, I left the plastic inside of the yeah. oven. It's kind of, <laughs> it really does add its own kind of flavoring. And uh, you just got to try it for yourself. Taste the burn, Trace. Uh, I don't know if I'd rather do that or feel the burn. Either way, there we go. Smoke's off there towards the squeaky door. We've got a little bit of time. A little bit of time biding here for the side of mouse forts. But what will the trump card be? Well, Frozen going to creep up here towards outside, but he's got to be ready to go toe to toe with a man in secret. And he does flick back around. Rez now in a bit of a rough spot as they have closed the distance on him. And while this is happening, Robs has cleared out a man at ramp. Now, this is a bit of a problem for NIP because they saw someone aggressing outside and they don't know the exact numbers as a result of those smokes being down and Rez having to fall back. So at this point, NIP are just kind of tucking in wherever they can, trying to hold on. And that's all they've been left with. Now the Deegs have opened up and Hampus is in with another. But a 1v2, still not an easy round for Hampus. It's Chris J that could really complicate matters being a little deeper than perhaps he's ready for, but it is frozen to end it out. Mouse Sports going to go 2-0 up. Almost a little moment there for Hampus with some nice convincing digs inside of the A site. He's been a very exciting player to keep an eye on. Not often that you say that about like the IGLs when they move into teams right away, but you know, he, I think the improvement for him as an individual has just been very, very stark. You know, like in those first few games that we saw from Hampus, it was a bit like, ooh, yeah. dropping Lecro for this man. Is that a gamble that's worth it? And now couple of couple of weeks or whatever, like a month or so down the line, I think, I, yeah, man, it's been, a, I don't know, all the days are blended weeks, into yes, one. You know. But uh, yeah, it's really showing its worth, I think. And then, like, another IGL to be getting excited about is Carrigan. We've seen him move on to this, like, primary AWPin role, which is pretty interesting. In this round, he's playing USP because he wants to bring an AWP out if he can. Likely going to have to get dropped one over by Chris J, which is kind of ironic anyway, but, yeah. This is actually week four of Counter-Strike, Harry, and there's many more to come. Now Sports looking to make this round a nice slow one as they set up utility on this A site. Oh dear, the molly's missed, but it won't matter. Man on the rafters peels back, and Twist does get one for the top. He drops in with the P250, but Frozen finds him in the hut. Low HP on two, maybe three players from our sport, so a chance for these Deagles to cause a bit of a problem, but good utility on this T side so far for mouse boards. Very methodical. Even though that hot molly, uh, hot roof molly sort of misses, it sort of spreads as well. We see how inconsistent they can be. You see players hide above the door, like the hut door, not the squeaky door, on them and still survive. 
and IP aren't getting any easy picks back into the site. They don't know about the low health, otherwise they would be far more tempted. Chris, oh, he got spotted. The cross coming through. Nork hits the timing. He knows Chris is there, right? But he's going to try and go through the hut. Mass does expel, <laughs> though. Great awareness. That's devastating. And yeah, that's got to feel bad for NIP, who are still just looking for exits. Rez is like, okay, I can get it at least, surely. Oh, God, I can't get it, he says. As now they start to... Oh, a nice flick from Rez. Any more? Deagle, only good for one. Hampus going to grab the AK, but doesn't oh, live Frozen. to tell the tale. Frozen, very, very quick there. Takes the AK away, doesn't allow that save, and locks in a third round for Mauer. not going to be bringing out the orb for NIP. This is where things are going to get a bit more exciting, I hope. As uh, Nork, man, he's, he's always delivering. I always feel like he's someone who, especially on like the first two maps, is just out of his mind. And then maybe it feels like, you know, at the end of a long best of three, as they often are with NIP, that's where maybe you see him slow down a little bit. Yeah. Got to hold your energy for as long as you can. Especially when you're playing day in, day out. The Pro League never stops six days a week. All hours of the day. Back to A for Mouse Sports. They love it. Oh, what's that? Right click smoke dropped over the top. It's going to land on the rafters. Cutting off that position. The twist played last round. Popsky falls off. He only finds one. The flashes are good. Rops follows up. And Nork's Orb does chime in up from heaven. He's going to have to hold off for the time being. Hampus has got a gap in the smoke. And he's going to drop Carrigan trying to get the bomb into the site. Rops, if he crosses, he could also be in the firing line. There it is. Hampus with another. And now it's down to Frozen. Eight, double O. Make that a one at the end. He's been taken down by the Orb rotation. NIP, nice little hold on the A site. They know what to expect. Mouseport to run it back three rounds in a row. And that was like the, the, the weird in-between of a bonus round. But yeah, that, that gap in the smoke gave Hampus a lot of freedom. And, you know, it's kind of like a, a feels bad moment for Rops because he holds the smoke all round long. And then like the, the one angle he isn't really ready for leads to his teammate dying. Rops then tries to cross into the site. And as he does, the smoke fades. So he faces the same fate as Carrigan. Hampus immediately crossing nice. secret and getting into this position. And because Mouse have been a little bit slow getting here, they might not be ready for Hampus. Rops is faking a ramp play out here, and that at least has gotten the AWP out of hell. This gives Hampus now the task of holding down outside alone. These smokes are weird, and Hampus oh. knows it, but he's just fighting through them, fighting around them. And he's even hounding down Chris J. This round is immediately down to a two on four. Chris down here in secret, Rops still back in lobby. They know where both players are on the NIP side. And so for Mouse to get anything done in this situation, they're gonna be pretty hard pressed. This kill is everything for Rops. He's got that top side open now. There's no one here to stop him, but Plopsky up in the rafters. Rops reroutes, goes back round to the hut with a minute on the clock. The bomb making noise on B. Chris could stick it if he wants. There's no one to stop him either. Options available for Mouse Force. Rops looks to hold rotations, but he gets caught by Plotsky. Dropping into the hut as well. That's mad. Chris, one on three. B bomb site. Loads of grenades for NIP. So he needs to get in a good position now. Stuck out in the open. Spotted from the ramp. The molly pushes him out. Oh, great shot for Chris. He's going to follow up. Low HP. Doesn't matter. Immediate headshot. And now it's on to Hampus with a Molotov in the door. Chris is held back, but he is waiting for the tap. And the molly's too deep. Oh, it's a stick in the smoke. Chris, he doesn't realize he hasn't found it, but he gets the shot at the end chris j a one on three and mouse sports they keep it going that is just beautiful and hampus throws like the tiniest of molotovs into the door what even was that it, looked, it like reminded me of when you molly uh you know like when you molly the hut door to like feign that it's molotov but really it falls behind the door so it only spreads in like yeah. that tiny little area uh that's what it looked like man that molotov was tiny the amount of space it was taking up chris just runs right by it like laughing at it yes what is this why have you thrown a baby molotov at me what was this like one of those like five what if what <laughs> you know like the little bottles of alcohol that you get like it's made out of one yeah. of them instead like tiny little bit of tissue put in the top yeah, that's a pretty gut-wrenching way to lose a round. Great from Chris J, though. That that one tap onto ramp was just mm. disgusting. Yeah, NIP had so much utility, so many chances, but him winning the early fight, he, he re-aggresses very quickly, takes down the second lobby, or in the decon, rather. And that was close on the defuse. Hampus almost had it, but Chris realized that he was sticking through the smoke, and he did take him down. NIP broken early. This is great momentum for Mouseports. They look to run off the back of it straight outside. 
Beagle spotted, not for long. Hampers gone. And I like the smokes from Mouseports. They don't throw traditional ones. They know it's an eco. And they already saw Hampers gimping his way through them in the previous round. So they choose to throw wide smokes and take the fight versus pistols instead. We've got more fights to be found, though. Down on B, two in decon. Or two in double, rather. Popsky in the vent. BMAS looks away. Timing is everything here. He's going to try and pounce on these NIP players. Surely not ready for another. Twist does trade, but Frozen has got his number. And even Popsky coming out from the vent is being held. So methodical take here for Mouse Sports. They look reinvigorated, Harry. I know we're early days, but this is the Mouse Sports that we wanted to see. And BMAS, man, like he he fragged in that Fnatic game. They took a 2-1 win. BMAS was a top performer. Like, that's massive. He may have had like a, a good showing versus phase, but wasn't really our man to look to in his opening series with Mouse. But against Fnatic, he really shined. And so that spells good news for Mouse Sports moving into the rest of EPL. So. So. There's a little something that has developed outside of the game, and perhaps okay. you're seeing it for the first time, hearing of it for the first time, but boy, let me delight you with some news. <clears throat> um, so, Brazil Major is removed from the calendar in all forms. No online replacement due to the ongoing disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Wow, who would have known? But also, ESL and Bauer committed to returning to Brazil with the Major when it is safe to do so. And it's probably important for me to also tell you, all tickets remain fully valid for a future event. Refunds can be requested if desired. That's at ESLCS for the latest news. You know what the Twitter sphere looks like, so head over there at ESLCS and get yourself a, a dose of this, this news that we dropped, because it's not the only bit. No, there'll be a lot more to discuss after this map in the post map. Yes. So stick around. We've got some exciting things in the pipeline for you guys at home. It's not just an empty calendar slot. So stick around. Watch this game. Watch the end. Um, watch the start of something new. Right now, though, it's Mouseports NIP 5-1 and a full buyback for the Swedes. Yes, indeed. And Mao's now in this 5-on-4. Five 5-on-5, no, five five, rather. Almost a 5-on-4 with Twist being so tagged up. But this Molotov could push a man out of the CT vent, and that's going to really cause some problems. It actually gets smoked off, and they're not even looking at it. They're not even look. Who do they think threw this smoke? Who do they think <laughs> threw the smoke? Campus is just still sat there. Oh, Carrigan's no. like, oh, hang on. He's, Surely he's not he's, there. I'm he's really not believing. Oh. There we go. That's the thing, right? You might fool, like, you know, everyone else, oh. but Carrigan, he's, like, looking at that smoke, and he's going, something ain't right about that. Something isn't right about that smoke, is it? Did I it? throw that? Yeah. Robs it's like that moment of realization. Robs, did you smoke it? No. Chris, did you throw a smoke CT vent? No. Right, I'll spam it then. Why not? Gets yeah, the kill as well. He goes back for it like three times. Twist is dead, right? The bomb's going to kill him if the bullets don't, but the bullets, well, they probably will because he's missing all of his. Oh, boy, there's the third. They run him down. They chase him. And Carrigan, he's the cold-hearted killer. Getting one through the smoke. I don't know why I called him that. Uh, <laughs> down on B. He, just, he hunts him down. Oh, he, he doesn't let him live in the smoke. He doesn't let him live with the warp down on B. He just he takes them all. And uh, BMAS, he spots a man atop the hut, and that forces, um, I think it was Chris, to look above and, and check the hut roof. In doing so, he sees the player on rafters. That's the danger of playing, you know, hut and rafters or hut roof and rafters. You're going to get spotted. And so even though that player on the hut roof falls down, his teammate, well, he takes the punishment for it. And a lovely little they execute again for Mouseports, just rinsing and repeating, Harry. They're washing their hands with NIP right now, taking this top site like it's nobody's business. What is worrying for NIP in this series is, or at least in this map, is in the six times they played Nuke this year, the only win was that four overtime game versus Big. It was crazy. Ah, so what you're saying is, is that... We've got to get it to four They've got to get it to four overtime. That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, I just hit my mute button. That wasn't a Hold you it. problem. That was a me problem, as they often are. And in this round, Hampus has caused a mouse problem. IP? No. Yeah, they're fully stacked up here outside. But on the flip side, like Mao's, they're already very suspicious. What with Hampus? Deegan down one out of the gate. 
They're already not too sure about this one. Carrigan, while well, he does get the first, is he going to follow up with any more? <gasps> Bang. Oh, he will. But he mass trading at least. And there we go. It's back under control. Also, um, I think, I, and I'm not sure on this, I think right. Carrigan collateral through Hampus and like through the wall or something. Because at the exact same time that he took a shot, Twist, who was back at Garage, took 20, 20 damage or something Get of this sort. Get my protractor out. I'm going to do something. Yeah, that. yeah. I'm going to line it up. The angle. It certainly looks like it could yeah. line up from where that happened. Yeah. Mathematicians say it is feasible. It is feasible, but does that mean it happened? If anyone caught it somehow, some way, let us know. Hashtag ESL Pro League. Hashtag ESL Pro League. I already said it. Yeah, but I said it again. Oh, okay. Just to like, you know, it's like... um. Rub it in. It's like subliminal messaging, you know? We just slip that in. It's a great tried and tested method, I hear. Yeah, dude, one in every 300,000 frames on the Pro League is just a, a big photo of Mountain Dew. Just to really get you craving it. They actually did that in, a, in an experiment uh, Experiment once. They, they showed a flash frame of a, a product in a cinema, and people went and bought the product afterwards. Wow, do you... It works. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Can you believe it? Team crazy damage like at the a, start. A good hoisin sauce, man. That's it's almost as crazy as that. Good grief. Rez, with the shot through the smoke to start things off, the nip side has gotten off on the right side in this round so far. Two down for the side of Mouse Boards. It's going to be Kerrigan and Rops. They're out of the fight. But the round is certainly not over. Still a minute and a half left. Chris is in a great position. Rez is going to go for a check, though, and Chris is looking up. He gets caught. Right-eyed peak. Favoring Rez. And now Mouseport, they're just looking for anything at this point. Twist is checking. Rap always making noise. Good reaction, though. Does catch Frozen deep. And Hampus drops BMAS outside. It's a five alive round for NIP. They keep everyone standing. And that's great for the money as well. Well, it's talking of money, look who else who has it. It's Mouse Sports. They put together so many rounds so far on this T side, it's going to be no issue to reinvest. Well, here we go. Back at the game, back at the fight. 7 to 2. Mouse Sports still leading the way, but. Pretty flawless round, all things considered, for Nip. Just dodging bullets, frozen. Not sure how he did that. It's quite the maneuver, but he pulled it off nonetheless. Three deep on the side of ramp for Miles. Oh, here comes the push and twist. Not gonna miss the opener, but Chris J at least trading it out back into this four on four. And now with a little bit of ramp control, the, the whole map has really opened up to Miles. They send a man down here towards B in the form of uh, Chris J, but he's just dropping a bit of utility, trying to force rotations, trying to jiggle up this NIP CT default. And it's worked wonders, honestly. There was already knocked down here. Rez has dropped in through the vent to go and help out, and he doesn't look convinced. You see him, like, float in between the two, but... Uh, it has thrown this NIP hold into a bit of disarray. Now, they had a really, really strong three-man A setup into this round, and now they've had to lean one of those over towards ramp. They've got two in B, and that's left Plopsky alone in the A site. And no one down here on B has seen anything either. Not yet, anyway. And so that's led them to believe that, okay, maybe it's an A play, maybe it's a fake, but actually, Mouse Sports, that's exactly what they were hoping happened. Frozen is now sneaking in through the vent. This is a very weird round because he's behind Nork and Nork has got no idea. <gasps> Frozen hears it. There was also a player up on A who could come through these vents at any moment. So Frozen has to act fast and there's Plopsky on that rotate we were just talking about. Three on three now with the bomb down and Frozen's flank felt, felt like it could have got away with more, but sadly timing gets the better of him. Nice flash from Rez and Carrigan so damn blind. That's given them a chance. Rops is the only man with any HP, and so he might have to do a lot of the heavy lifting here, and he is good for one. Now tapping the bomb is Plopsky. Chris J Ooh. goes in for the peak. There's no time, is there? No. Oh, it's such a nice try from Popsky, man. That, that was almost perfect for NIP, but yeah, taking some time to set up, losing Nork, causing chaos. And even though Popsky comes down the vent on the rotate, Rops buys enough time in the dark cubby to at least take down one kill. He didn't want Chris to go first because obviously Chris is so low anyway. He was dead immediately to the USB tap back. And Plopsky 
not able to get the defuse off. It's Mouse Sports to find a seventh. They've shown us heavy A takes, or now finally a lower one, and it works just as well. Comes close, but close is fine. Mouse Sports can sustain the damage. They've got plenty of money for it. Yeah, it's been a pretty good half for them so far. A lucrative half, you might even call it. But a timeout. Wonder what the dealio is. Maybe they're just getting the news too, and they're just kind of like, oh. Coming to terms with it. Just call a, a quick tech pause here for our emotional state. Yeah, you might be in a bit of an emotional state if you're an NIP fan right now. Two and eight down on the CT side of Nuke. It's never ideal, right? But you got some good news at least in that a good NIP map is coming up next in the form of Mirage. And then with this culminating on train, well, we know that Mouse Sports used to quite enjoy a bit of train when they were winning everything. But, you know, I feel like most teams enjoy a bit of any map when they're winning everything. That's so, yeah. Blue. That's definitely the blue tape. Yeah, it's definitely the blue it's tape. That's what be we've the blue prescribed tape. for this one. Like there's, I just, I don't know. I have, to, I think it is. It's got to be, right? Surely, right? Because it's like, you know, it's 2020. It's almost 2021. Like, let's be real. Let's get you can't be out buying a you can't be buying a, a a webcam that looks that blue by default. Like I don't know, I'm blue Abadia Badaya. Anyway, <laughs> that's a Harry Russell squeak for you all <laughs> on your soundboards. Look at this, too deep outside. Res is not going to be too far off, but it's Rops streamlining the process here, trying to get some headspace for Mouse Sports running into main, gets himself a Res. And that's caused quite the thorn in the side of the ninjas in pajamas. Plopsky down here on the site by himself. He's going to have a little backup coming in. They know that Rops is just hanging out in main somewhere. Yeah, that was a great distraction from Mouse Sports. They actually molly Popsky at the back of the site. So, it, you know, while he's coming out door, the A side players are confused. They're expecting a rush. It's not the case. Nice shot. Nork finds Robs. Kagan's got B, though. Mouse Sports have taken ramp as this position was open after NIP rotate A. That's a really nice, uh, like, idea for Mouse Sports, right? Not only getting them a one for one trade at the start of the round, but also just keeping NIP out of B and making them think it's an A execute. It was not. Now it retakes on for the Swedes. Yeah, it's the Swede take as they try and move in. But Chris J holding from the rafters while Hampus does break the silence here for NIP and opens up a three on three. This little crossfire between Frozen and Carrigan is not one to underestimate. They deal with Hampus and now Nork out through Decon. Chris J actually gets bested Ooh. by him as well, but there's so little time. They've got to get on this defuse. And with that kill oh for my. Carrigan there, he's locked in the round regardless. Nine on the board for Mouse Sports. As they win another one of these B plays, it gets very, very close, but everyone in the server perishes at the hands of that bomb, and they continue to build upon this lead. Yeah, NIP, that's, they gave it their all. Oh, they gave it the best shot they could have on that defuse. Twist tries to block, body block the shots from Carrigan, but that first player had to be sticking it anyway. Nork had to get on the, the, the bomb, or it would have been a lost round. So nice try. Couple of seconds could have made all the difference as mm. Twist gets in with a trade too late, and Mouse Sports keep building. Nine rounds. Man, the ideas have just been there. They're like some great calls. Heavy A takes at the start of the game. They condition Nip early that they're taking A. They throw that utility. They molly out Plopsky at the back of the site while simultaneously getting Rops out the door. He kills Rez in main, and then Mouse just dropped B because NIP have flurried their rotations towards A. They were even expecting outside as well. They went two outside early. So NIP planned for every contingency but the one that happened. While it may look bitter now for NIP, don't worry. Should sweeten up there as we look at the next map of the series of Mirage. That was a bit of crowbar, but... I like that. I like that. Can't be too sweetener. Oh. Orps back out for Nork. It's had pretty limited impact in this game. It's not like Mouse Sports have been running yard takes at all. And when they have, they've had wide smokes. They've had all types of smokes down. They've had red smokes. They've had the triple uh, phase smokes. And they've had the uh, the deep ones towards main and hell window as well. So, yeah, this is a go-to pick, pick from Al Sports. And boy, is the scoreline telling of that. Nine to two. Back outside late. The AWP is here in secret. It's actually crossed this time. So Nork could get a lot of value from this position. Al Sports lining up utility right now. Yeah, these 
looking like the standard nice and easy outside smokes. Is there a gap there behind the red one? It certainly looks like it on the minimap. It even looked like they yeah. fell pretty deep as well when they got thrown over. And that could give up everything, you know? Like, even though it's just, yeah, there is. Ooh. No one's seen it, though. Yeah, that's fortunate, right? There is Hampus outside, but he's not peeking it. And if he did, that would have given over a lot of information. It would have meant that Nork is no longer just sitting around in secret, not really doing anything in this round. While this is happening, Mouse Sports have just taken B ramp. No one was even watching it for an IP. And now Nork realizes, okay, they've gone ramp. This is where he can try and come into his own on this rotate through secret. And he does drop Chris J. Plumsky going to be able to find Carrigan as well back in the lobby. The bomb going down inside of B, but it's a three on five for Maus. And Frozen is still trapped outside. So really only two players and now actually only two players. Bmas and Rops left up in this one. They are getting surrounded. What does Rops even do here? There's so many angles to keep an eye on. And he's only one man at the end of the day. So three on the board for NIP and a flawless round at that. Yeah, no kit as well. So it's really important they get those kills fast for NIP. And boy, Mouseports, they got ramped for free again. It was something NIP were aware of by putting Nork down in lower earlier. And Hampus was helping outside. That led to NIP running AAA. And again, like leaving ramp, that's a danger. If Mouseports notice that, they've done it in back-to-back -back rounds. They can start ramping hell, right? NIP were, were allowing Mouseports to take that position to play retake on B. Dangerous, cool, but it works out. They remove the lurker outside who was dinked early. And that retake is just fine for NIP with five alive. The rounds they've had have been clean rounds of five up. So it's not the end of the world for NIP. They can still build a respectable half here on the CT side of Nuke, but Mouse Sports have won it regardless. Oh boy, Carrigan going quick, he spots the head and now he's dead. Propsky in main and the rest of Mouse Sports stuck in lobby. There was an idea there from Kerrigan. I think. Meanwhile, the rest of the team here in Mouse Sports left to figure it out towards the ramp side. Oh. And they have. My God. Rops figured it out for twists. He ain't even know it. Now, Nox going to have to back away. This lower bomb site's been conceded, and Rops is leading the way with this found AK. It's going to cause a rotation. Molotov, probably not optimal, but the bomb will be planted nonetheless. 4v4. One gun for Mouse Sports. Can they hold on in the post plant? Yeah, this would be impressive if they could, right? You've still got these two Glock players. You can try and use them as like bait almost. Frozen's getting burnt through the door, so it really sucks to be him, doesn't it? As that Molly somehow does a lot of damage. Rops flashed off the angle. Frozen acts as the bait, but Rops not able to follow up. Chris J dropped as well, and it's a nice clean retake for NIP up against the, the partially invested Mouse Sports. Bomb plant is good, though. Opens up a, a chance for Mouse Sports to take this game back into their hands, but it will be a grind now. You know, you're no longer in this situation where an IP are getting reset with every victory that you have, having to take partial buys on the back of that money running out. Now that I looked at that shot, yeah. it seemed completely oblivious to Rops being there. It wasn't that, cool, but it was a good shot nonetheless. Well placed, and moreover, Mouse Sports. Well, they've got the answers currently. Nip. Need to hold on. Two more rounds in this half would be A-OK. -okay. Damn right. The orb looked pretty good last round on the retake. Going to need to be again with a fast outside take, but the orb's on ramp and Carrigan's come through main. Hampus cross secret and Twist sees nothing. He only hears the pitter pattering and he needs to get in the back line now. There it is. Twist popping in from behind. BMAS with an entry into A, but there's still a heavy setup here. Propsky has not been removed above the hut. And oh no, he runs out of ammo. Good damage. BMAS low. Rops needs a kill and he can't get it, even with Twist being pushed out from behind the vent. BMAS closing or falling rather, being closed onto by Popsky, the earlier damage was done. And NIP, more rounds being built with more players surviving. And that's a really good chance. They finished this half now, six to nine. And that's a very good recovery when you think about the fact that this was nine two at one point in time. It looked like there was like a chance at a 13 two half if things just didn't turn around. And luckily enough, NIP, they bailed themselves out. This AWP's still in play, and it's been a real nuisance since it's come out. You know, it's been causing problems time and time again. Nade's going to rain in outside. Not really going to find anything worth mentioning, though, from them. Heavy outside setup. Hampus going above, up on top of the garage. They didn't realize he's going to get away with some damage, but it's Twist to put up the first kill through the smoke. A weird little round as BMAS gets flashed into garage, but doesn't go in with it.
Yeah, you always got to be weary of the Hampus Rampus. We know that he can cast that one at any time, and he might still do it. The last round of the first half of play here on the first map. Not the most optimal of financial situations on that last round there from Sports, but they're doing what they can with it, which ultimately has been no damage so far on the nip side. And no bomb plant. This looks like it's going to be a grinder of a round. There's that Hampus Rampus, I promise you. Kerrigan falls. And he's not the last one. Rops as well. Plopsky's going to find him from the heavens. And 44 HP for Plopsky. That's all the damage found in that round. We're going to go to a break because it's a 9-6 half. We're going to have to come back after some, some brief hoisin sauce is put into our veins. And then, well, we will return with more ESL Pro League Season 12. Pro League Season 12. We got a blue lens here. Call it blue mass. Blue mass. Yeah. <laughs> That's not bad. It's not your best, but it's not your worst either. We'll keep it at that, Hugo. Welcome back, everybody. We'll let Sarah play out for just a second, but we all get in the mood and the spirit. Sarah, 
right, we're gonna let that track. That was obviously a remix track. We had to fade that one right out on top. Nonetheless, we're back into the pistol round. Here we go, Nip and Mouse Sports. And it looks like Nip had a little bit of bite him in the end of the first half. Was it too little too late? That's gonna be the big question here. Pistol round's gonna decide a lot of different things, Hugo. Yeah, mainly who's got the momentum. And right now, Mouse Sports, Wondering if it disappeared in the end of that half. They're getting wrapped. Frozen spamming the smoke. He doesn't know. But Bunaf does trade only for one. Carrigan's still on the A site. Support from heaven, but it's getting spammed back. Carrigan getting run down, but he's hitting all the shots he needs. Two kills and Nork alone a long way away. Already wrapping heaven, but Rops is clearing out this flank. He's coming in from the back, and he might have this one dead to rights. Oh. Oh, he almost considered it. Nork looked for a second, but there's Rops right behind. And Malsports, they take the lead even further. Ten rounds now after a pistol round win. And then NIP with no bomb plant, not really in a position to force. So this should be 11-6 before all things are said and done. Oh, Hampus. Bye-bye. See, he's frozen. Now, going silo with the Glock is one of the seven deadly hoy sins of Counter-Strike. Andy, that source is rent-free in your guys' head. Hoy sin is like the ultimate source. I think that's one thing we can all agree on. Yeah, sure. So, let's see. Rops putting some source on him. A ramp doubling up with the M4. And the bomb did make it down, somehow. Rops has dealt with everyone else, but Plopski is like jamming in these numbers fast as he can. He doesn't even care about getting kills now. And that's good, because he doesn't get any. 11 on the board for Maus, and five players staying alive. And this is it, NIP, they do what they need, and that's to get the bomb planted. Now they can buy, now they can reap the rewards. Norks on the AWP. Thrown over by Plopski. No oh, utility as a result, but at least we've got it in play. Mouseports don't. They're still running bonus. We've seen Chris with a scout from time to time. You know what he can do with his gun. So, scout v orb. Don't know about that one, but let's see. Molly on the silo. Like that lineup. Steal it for later. Frozen's pushing outside, and he is inside of the smoke. Flash coming from Chris. Uh, Frozen strikes only for one. The trade on Nork's orb. And now Mouseports know what they're up against. Boy, sin, Cho sin, or no sin. He doesn't know anything about Chosen now, so we'll just let that one slide away. Speaking of sliding around, here comes Hampus. He's got himself some real estate in Big Garage. However, he's not alone outside. It's Chris J with that scout. We've seen him do some weird things, but um, in this notion, it's going to be a tough one for him. Oh, I love this position from Rops, man. For some reason, this box goes unchecked so often. It's just, can you can your stomach not taking an info peek if you're Rops? You need your opponents to be making noise. And luckily enough, they're making noise. And no one's going to check it because no one ever does. So Rops oh, could get yeah. three here. There's one, there's two. And Twist is like, oh my goodness, it's the box that no one ever looks at. <laughs> And so while he does get the trade, it leaves him and Hampus worlds apart in a two on three. Now, Twist is in B. Now, that initially might look great. That might look fantastic. But if he gets this bomb down and then isn't able to delay this retake for, for the rotate from Hampus, this could all be over. And that's not very convincing. So with Carrigan locking in the kill, and now they know Hampus is arriving as well, Carrigan can just get on the bomb. Hampus is too far away, and Chris J is just the king with the scout, isn't he? It's not even fair no scope headshot reasonable get him out you gotta do it you gotta do it in style that's what i was always taught you cannot know what you're doing but as long as you look cool doing it you'll be all right because slow is smooth and smooth is fast
Oh, they, they might need to throw caution to the wind in this round and go for a faster approach. They got pistols out with the armor and utility looking like an A take. Red is going to go running through the Molotov. Good luck. Burning down. Karen's let them all through. He's blinded early. B Mass is going to trade. If the bomb gets planted, that's massive for NIP. But right now, Chris is keeping the pressure up high. Rez drops him down below. Two for him as now NIP somehow, some way, have the man advantage. But they're not safe or secure in this round just yet. Now they, Ooh, now they, yeah, now they really are. That's a bit of a disaster for Maus. This was just pistols on the other side, and now Frozen's left in a very unlikely clutch. Two of these players are very, very low, but Frozen's not to know that. And Hampus is even wrapping Silo, mate. Of course he is. He just shoots Frozen. Not exactly in the back, but, you know, like in the side, and that's one that you're not ready for. So NIP, they sniped away a seventh round here on the back of that partial buy. Yeah, we see, we're seeing more A takes than ever on new games, right? Like, you know, so many people moved away from that. I guess in the past when we had multiple rafter access, like that was, that was just something else. But yeah, basically impossible to get out of the hut and door. But nowadays, everyone has the utility. Everyone has the flashes, the mollies at the back of the site, the smoke in main, the necessities. And while it worked for Mouseports in the first half, NIP throw it right back in their face. Nice nade. Twist doesn't take too much of a beating, though. Wrapping around the backside, Frozen's pushed in through the lobby. Oh dear, those smokes have missed, whether that be a Molotov or not. There is burning on the floor, so I imagine it was mollied. Frozen dealing with one. Damage to the second, the bomb gets down and he knows it. Now, of course, can rotate appropriately. Robs, that's messy, and Hampus oh, jumps, wow. lands it, hits the shot, and somehow keeps NIP in this round. Yeah, that is ugly. That was Robin not keeping his cool. No. <laughs> no, that really wasn't the uh, the usual Rob show that we're used to. Sometimes shooting them from behind is the hardest part. You know, when they don't know you're there. And now that puts pe pressure back on Maus to try and go aggressive. Now Carrigan's like, all right, look, I'll do it. I'll do the thing that Rops couldn't. I'll flank outside. I'll get this info. Now, this could still end up anywhere, really. Like, you've got this outside control. You could try and get up through the vents based on the success down here towards B. But Carrigan is closing in. Slowly but surely, he is arriving in the back line. Rez is keeping an eye on it, though. And so Carrigan does lock in that kill, drops the bomb with it. Plopsky's going to catch Beamass at the very, very least. But Carrigan, still being a nuisance, puts up a double. And this now leaves NIP in panic mode. But Chris J, the door swings. He's getting ambushed from either side. Carrigan's got to go above and beyond here. This bomb down at his feet. If he can just de 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 deny it for a little bit longer, he's done it. He's won the round. Just delay it, man. Just delay, man. Delay, delay, and lock in, kill off the kill. That's the Carrigan motto. I think. Let him go, yeah. Oh, slaughtered. That's epic. Back, of course. And Twist is hiding in the smoke, but the other player from Mouseports has run away. He just knows he needs to survive, even if Carrigan dies. Uh, a bit of an error there for BMAS as well. He turns around to watch the vent. Maybe something was communicated, but earlier, these kills frozen. He spots two players get down. And so after Carrigan kills Rez with the bomb, there should be the expectation, because BMAS has been in secret the entire time, that there's another player there. But he turns around and gets shot in the head. Doesn't matter for Mouseports in the slightest. As Carrigan comes in on the flank and does everything they need. Last second kill in the smoke. No guns today, not for NIP. And this is a great showing for Mouse Sports right now. We've had a couple of uh, signs of life from NIP in this game, but by and large, 13 to 7. Mouse Sports having no issue. We see that one pistol win on the A site for the Swedes, and they get instantly reset, is the word I'd use, but doesn't really hold truth anymore. Here's some truth for you, Hugo. Hit me. If you're just joining us for this matchup, yeah, you probably missed all the real intricate parts of how it got the 13-7, but you're not going to want to miss the death segment after this. Some very special stuff coming your way. So make sure you're around for that. Just a little bit of a teaser for you all. I know some of y'all live under a rock. Let's not lie to each other here. Perhaps you live in Iraq. Who knows? Nonetheless, 13-7. We got Chris back on the scout. Yeah. That's scarier than Chris on an orb, and no one can change my mind. I mean, that said, actually, he did get that.
a pretty sick ace at New York, and that wouldn't have happened with the Mirage. Scout, so. That was yeah. pretty nuts. I'm just yeah. saying. It was a shot at the connector. I still remember that to this day. I felt that one in my very core. And IP is so scared of going lower right now. Like, <laughs> I don't know what lurks below. It's only frozen. Oh, it's only God, one man guys. right now. IP, they want to stay close together, side by side, quaking in their boots, frozen. To ice it up a bit, but he's going to lose his he's head out, immediately. Great shot from Rez. That's what we love him for. And IP have lower. Quick rotate for Robs. He's got to put up a kill. He does. Chris with a scout. All going very wide, but he hits oh. the headshot. Bodies are not a thing when yeah. Chris has the scout in play. And that's going to delay the plant, giving time for Carrigan to once again slip the knife in their back. Yeah, Beamass is even here as well. Carrigan tries to swing, but Nork is scoped up. However, that does delay the plant. They get off of it. Chris has moved in through ramp, blind as a bat, and almost able to connect there, but Rez just beating him on the timing. Beamass trying to get out, but Nork scoped up already. Going to solidify an eighth on the board for an IP, and that little fast secret play Gives some results over right away yeah. to the side of NIP. Yeah, if Carrigan went instantly upon hearing the plant noise, he actually probably would have stopped it. Nork was towing the line between double and single and didn't know where to look. He was waiting on sound cues, so Carrigan delays, and that gives time for Nork to get ready and scope up and prepare. So, nice try from Mouse. That's right, Robson and Chris both get a kill on that ramp rotate. Chris actually gets blinded a little bit. Not full white, but just enough by BMAS um, flashing out the door when he tries to get Rez off the planting site, or the, the plant, I guess, off the bomb. It's a weird buy for mouse boards. They're throwing everything at it. Scout back, one FAMAS, two Deagles. It's a mess in any variety. Rops is getting wrapped. Oh dear, he's just turned around. Oh, Twist is making noise. Yeah. NIP have the A site. Carrigan's in the hut. What is going on? Rops doesn't know he's walking into an enemy. And Twist is going to pop out at the best time. Great timing for Twist, but shot through the hut is Carrigan by Hampus. And the bomb dropped. It's not a worry yet. Mouse boards still going down B. Frozen does deal with the lurker. And now they know where the objective is. Oh, man, Chris smoked out of heaven. And so I don't think we're going to get to have our crazy scout highlight clip we were hoping for. Really unfortunate. But I guess this is, you know, in this moment, there's just really kind of one thing we narrowed it down to. And that's that Sarah belongs to the streets. And that's it. She left us. Not Why? the other way around. Why? I don't know. Get our best detectives on that one. Somebody call me how. Scraping through the vod as we speak. Trace, I wish your surname was spelled like Sarah. Like Sarah, Sarah Anthus. Anthus. Yeah. I mean, it's close enough. It's, it's, it's like, almost. Let's get that legally changed. How about that? Yeah, yeah that's like a good that. idea. That's not man. a bad idea. Let me do that in homage to Sarah who left us. <laughs> no keck, yeah. only Bible thumps the whole time. That's an age. I wish I knew any Twitch, like, emoji names, because I hear you say them all the time. Now. Dude, I don't know what they're called. Oh, look, he's giving us the little... Uh, <laughs> we whoa. all looked right into we it. We were going through Got the every hole. single one of us. And now... You actually go through that. It goes through the Matrix, right? This whole game crumbles. Exactly. Wow, dude. We just saw the future. And I tell you what... Not a good future for Chris J, let me tell you. He gets orped immediately. So that's his round over and done with. Hope you had fun, Chris. As now it falls down to the remaining four. Oh, but only these USPs and, you know, a couple of Deagle Mac 10s, that's it. Not one gun, that's two guns. And the A split comes in. There's no one even here. So an IP are like, cool, sweet, we'll take it. Free real estate, innit? Oh. Carrigan with the scout, there's one. Trade for Nor comes in immediately. Nice to, uh, to see, you know, Nork just hanging on to the outside while his teammate take main to A. He's able to drop a lot of rotations, lurkers, Carrigan getting the scout, Frozen coming up from B. And Nork's keeping an eye on it. There he is, Hampus, with one of the final kills of the round, unless Frozen gets sniffed out here in secret. Sounds kind of gross when you say it that way. But here we are nonetheless. Nip are going to pick up another round, go up to double digits even, 13-10. And I could tell most of y'all didn't believe that Nip were possible with this. 
it was even a potential reality, but I did predict Nip, so it's likely they're not going to win. I mean, yeah. The money's back on the table for mouse board, so they get to give this an honest attempt, albeit all lacking head armor and, well, not one kit with saw today. Yeah, and IP won a five on five on four retake with no kit themselves, so Mal Sports have got to do their best. Chris has got the AWP over Carrigan. Carrigan on the org, but above the hut as well. We usually see that gun at longer ranges, like back in the garage towards CT, maybe even ramp, but on A, interesting. I'm excited to see if this works out. Not a lot of util for Mal Sports, and they have no info either. Down B, RNIP. Hampers is lurking in the secret. And IP still looking at this A site right now, still looking to crunch. They could have Hampers sell a bit of a fake or come up through the vent or even use that position to take over ramp. And now NIP, they've changed their mind. They go back outside to line up the smokes, hoping they can draw some rotations. It, yeah, Hampers, I think he's coming up the vent here. I think it's just a, a flat out A take. Those smokes aren't going to do a whole lot when mouse sports aren't even looking at them. And NIP lining up the timing to take this one. Ramp, they go though, and drops on the boost with a lot to do. Yeah, it's almost as if Nip wanted them to pull a rotation outside, but Mouse Force don't fall for it. Holy oh. smokes, Twist has absolutely wrecked Rops in the top of Ramp Room. And that's going to give them a clear path all the way down to the bottom. However, Chris J has just showed up on the scene, and it could be Murder She Wrote. Here we go, AWP, one on the res, and now he's going to have to back away. The numbers game has not gotten in favor of Mouse Force. The bomb's going to get planted in a 2v3. Here comes Chris J, though. If he peeks right, just right, oh. and he could have won that duel. Hampus a little bit quicker on the trigger. And now we see Frozen in a one-on-three at the end of the round with no kit. So you can pretty much put a bow on that one. This is scary, though, for Mao's. Like, this was looking like their game to close out, right? And with it being their map pick, you're probably expecting them to just walk away with this one. They had a 9-2 lead. At one point in time, they were looking so damn good, and Chris there was just no response from Nip. But now, 11 to 13, and that, that huge gap that they once had has very drastically closed on up. And with each passing victory, NIP are just getting more and more well off, more and more confident. Slightly but surely, everyone's coming alive, whereas for Mao's, like key players like Rops falling a little bit silent here. Struggling, some cracks starting to show. Yeah, he did get jump shot by Twist. Yeah, you know, there's only so much you can blame Rops for <laughs> there, right? But 13 11, though, from 13 7. It's a four round streak from NIP, and they're building into this one. Nork on the AWP looking good, and Frozen with the one rifle in this round. We've seen these rounds fall apart. They definitely can on Nuke. Oh. Into the lobby, Mouse Sports look to go. Flash through for Carrigan, double down. Twist is in the corner, traded by Robs. as Deagle on B-Mass as well, but NIP have abandoned the lobby. They left Hampus on the roof, and the rest of them running, not down, frozen. Oh no, is that missing? Foe, he spots them running towards Secret, but when they get spotted, they rotate outside, and they go towards the garage. NIP have absolutely won up Mouse Sports, who are now stacking the lower bomb site. What a read for B-Mass. <laughs> He's ready for Hampus above the T-roof, but regardless of all this, Mousebots still think this one's going B. Frozen's come back up to reconsider as that kill has now gone the way of Mousebots. He's made the right call. He sees Rez with the bomb outside of heaven as well. So Mousebots might want to panic rotate up towards his top site. Still three on B. Frozen's got to take a safer route. And NIP don't know that heaven is clear or not anyway. BMAS is in lobby with the AK. So Mousebots, they're going to be left likely in a retake on this A site with no kit. Yeah, a lot of this might just come down to how well BMAS is able to defend A all alone. They drop this little one-way smoke to peek in. BMAS might not ever even peek into the site, and they might just try and play this in a four-on-three retake, right? Problem that they're going to have is that you can plant for heaven here with all three players being there. Oh. And that will be what happens here. Plopsky is still up on the rafters, so that's something to bear in mind. Even if these other two players don't stand the test of time, you got Plopsky to fall back on. Nork holding for the peak, but misses the shot. Does live to fight another day, and he's got Rez holding with him. BMAS going to fall finally to this AWP. And now it's this heaven flank that really needs to decide everything. And it all comes down to whether or not Rops is going to check this close left position for Plopsky. 
Rez oh. actually just deletes him immediately, and so Frozen's got no choice but to back away. 12 on the board for NIP, as they are now one round away from equalizing up this game. Uh, Rez has been on the lays because he is crispy indeed right now. Those are some beautiful shots and holding on to the A site as Rob comes in. As you say, like he's got to check his left, but first he's got to get past Rez and it's never that easy. Great round for NIP. Even two dropping off uh, or, or, or two playing in the site and one in the rafters is a right call for NIP as well. Moving the orb out into a position where it can actually stop mouse sports. And Hampus, not Hampus, rather, Nork behind the CT vent gets flashed back in for a second one. Even clears out Squeaky. This is a, a great comeback for NIP. Five rounds in a row. One behind Mouse Sports. The money's back though. Remember, that was a low economy round where Mouse Sports got aggressive and took the lobby to start. The misinfo caused them to rotate B. And even though they figured it out eventually, they had no choice but to play retake. They'd already set up players on that lower site. Orb out for Chris over Carrigan again. Still question marks on that roll, right? We've seen Carrigan take it on maps like Inferno. Chris here on Nuke. Crashes into A. NIP get Molly though, the deep one inside of the door, and so they won't go through it. Late smokes outside is a good way of throwing deception in the midst, but to deny that, Milesports have Rops down in secret, about to clear this one out. Carrigan above the hut gets one inside of the lobby. Dangerous spam, but he's not going to get punished for it. Rops is holding on to vent as well, just in case inside of this main smoke, someone has snuck down into B. They have not. And IP are going outside, and Rops has now realized that his back is clear, and he can come and help in the yard. Frozen's here. The orb solo holding ramp. And NIP laying down those late smokes. All hands on deck for the ninjas in pajamas. No one in lobby, no one towards radio or ramp. They're all going to be going outside four deep. Minus Hampus, who has already fell in the round. They've crossed into the secret, but they might have a rude surprise waiting on him. Frozen, very passive angle, which in turn is going to allow Rops to set up himself to stop this push here and lower. Oh, this smoke is big at the 40-second mark. This is going to buy a lot of time, but he All peeks right. back in. We see players get punished from that position quite a lot, and that is going to cost Mouseboard to the B-bomb site. Yeah, Chris has to put up a bit of a hold from Ramp, and down with one. It's Rez on the receiving end of this orb. Chris J smoked off now as the double ramp smokes come in. That buys a lot of time for NIP here. Means this bomb is almost going to be like half ticked as the retake comes through for Maus. So they are sacrificing time for these safer entries in through the ram smokes. And that there is a decision that can make or break this round. BMAS coming in through secret in the meantime. They're trying to time this. So they're all hitting this site together on the retake. In comes the onslaught, a utility from ramp. BMAS opens up onto Nork and it all falls onto Twist in a 1v3. No one's on it. Yeah, they've got to get on this bomb now. Frozen defusing it, and it's all locked in. Thankfully, Ooh. Chris J holds the line, and they only just get that one over. But it is 14 on the board for Maus. They remain very, very composed in spite of the kind of rough position they were put in by those ramp smokes. And that's nice. You know, they just have faith that even with very little time, they're going to be able to close that round out, and they do in a clean fashion. Yeah, Chris is banging on the orb right now. That's good to see. Frozen and Carrigan both try and peek the door to stop Twist, but I think the call was made that only Frozen had that kit. He had to get the defuse off, and so he runs right back, almost leaving too little time, but not quite. 14 to 12. The five-round streak of Mouse of NIP's comeback is broken by Mouse Sports. Frozen smoking close outside. Popsky spamming. Oh, dear, he hears the tags. The flash is good. Frozen has to hold his nerve. He can't afford to fire back, or he will pay the price. Instead, he backs up into secret to join Rops this time. Molly definitely keeps him contained. Amper's back on the roof. He has utility to throw into that A site if he wants. Only two smokes. That's enough to throw these late uh, yard cross smokes outside for NIP if they want to back up. Popsky's already pushed towards red, so that would bail him out of danger here. They don't know where the AWP is. It's back on ramp. It's still been here consistently, holding strong for Chris on these fast B rotates when NIP do t take secret. But right now, that doesn't look like their prerogative. They're wrapping outside, looking for main, and potentially going A. Yeah, they bypass it for now, moving into garage. 
Frozen late to the scene outside. There's no choice but to sit down here in hell and hope that he hears or sees someone coming Ooh. his way. That's a nice little flick from Twist. Frozen now checking the heavens and they're never aware. Now he never sees Hampus also making his way up here and that could cause some problems. Hampus with the double and now Bmas having a look every which way. It's Hampus in with three. Ow. And that's a little bit devastating, right? Frozen, it's like confirmation bias. He peeks, he deals with the first man, and then because he doesn't see or hear or get, you know, shot at by anyone else, he's like, well, I've dealt with the heaven play. Now we can rotate up there. And then they do, and he starts to consider it, but just a second too late, Hampus times that to perfection and steals the round away on the back of it. Yeah, beautiful third, third kill as well. Bmas on the site could have actually put up a hold. He could have uh, taken that, and and maybe that would have been a doable round for Mouseport if they could steal the plant out, but just deleted immediately. Hampers, leading by example, not afraid to go in first as the in-game leader. Oh boy, or, he's gone eventually. Or die yeah. at the very end. Oh, no, I worry though, right? We already talked about this comeback for NIP. They've got all the money. The saves are more important to Mouse Sports right now who who are able to buy here at 13, 14, but if they lose oh. it, they're gonna be in a rough spot. Hampers, look at that. Just swings onto BMAS and NIP, man. They just won't go down without a fight. Mouseports had a great start to the second half with three off the back of the pistol. They reset after NIP won an eco and then a five round streak with another reset in the favor of NIP. Here it is, all to play for. Double orb, Rops and Chris pulling them up. Carrigan on the auto shotty. This is getting out of control. Yeah, and I did see that sign in the fan cam. Don't worry, you didn't go unnoticed. That's ESL.gg slash fan cam. He said, between ROPs and a hard place. Of course, it was mirrored, so it took me a few seconds to kind of like read that yeah. backwards. But he's right. Mouseports have kind of worked themselves into a weird spot, especially if this round doesn't go their way. Little to no utility. They've invested in two AWPs. That's Shotgun on Kerrigan. Oh. ROPs with the op. I can't wait to see what Kerrigan does with this. <laughs> Twist. Who wins this fight? Is it the auto shotgun or is it the AK? Cast your votes, hashtag ESL Pro League, let us know. And we're about to have an answer any second now. Carrigan, this Harry, is it. Time getting, to shine. I think he's going to get two here, Harry. Yeah? Or That's the either two or none. That's the Trace Sarantis prediction here. Two or nothing. Carrigan, in they go, oh. and the answer is none. Damage done, but that's about it. Plopsky does help out and is like, yeah, see you later, Twist. Get out of here. Shoots him in the back of the head, and now a leg from Chris J. I love this from Frozen. He's just aggressing through Squeaky. And now they try and run the gauntlet to ramp, but this is where Rops has just got oh. open season with the AWP. And Mount Sports, they're going to reach map point here at 15 to 13. Oh, that team kill is disaster for NIP. They kill a player with lots of health as well. It wasn't even the guy who got tagged. Uh, heavy, Popsky was so low. Oh, sorry, it was. Oh, Twist. yeah, it yeah. was. Twist. Popsky was also 20 health uh, after this. That's a bit of a shame, but great work. And Robs doesn't move away from ramp as well. So, yeah, you know, NIP run right back into that AWP that shuts him down at the end of things. That got a bit scary. Big sigh of relief out of Kerrigan, though. Yeah. Especially when you have, like, you know, the auto shot Ian Hart. You see him rush. You don't get a single kill. The team pick it up. And wrapping outside is Hampus. He's top performer right now, and he's going to keep it up. Great entries from Hampus. He loves taking over this A site. The Caravan's dropped the bomb onto a rifle with great results. Chris finding Hampus from uh, with the AWP, and Rob's from ramp has come heaven with his as well. So there's two orbs in play. One of them going to get dropped. Nork does find it. This bomb is still in the open, though, and Caravan has just missed the timing. Picked back up from Rez in the site. Caravan turns around, and Rez does not. Good night. It's all on Nork and the one on two to save the map. Yeah, Rops is even flanking outside. Carrigan oh. doesn't even need to see because through the 